So today I'm going to be doing some more excavating on this part of the line, being as even this shallow grade change here will probably require a retaining wall, even though it's only about the height of my boot. And so as I've been doing so much work with loose stone there, I don't exactly uh, think I'm going to be using loose stone here. So I've decided it's time to take a more modern approach and use some cinder blocks and bricks. So I will be putting those along here and overall lowering this grade to meet up with the switch. So here are the resulting mounds of earth from today's excavation efforts. So I've leveled the line to about here. After that, it's obviously still lumpy. But looking up here, the uh, trench is pretty much level all the way back to here. So I finished out this corner. I'm not entirely certain what's going to go on here, meeting up with the wall of the garage yet. So I'm just going to leave that to be determined, but it most likely will follow this same level. So I'll be placing the cinder blocks, at least as many as I have, along this length now, and they'll just essentially sit. I do plan to either uh, spike them into the soil or uh, with, with pieces of rebar or uh, cement them in place, but 
since it's only one course, uh, it's not entirely necessary to uh, fix them. So here's today's extent of the cinder block wall. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do at this point here where it starts to uh, taper down and actually become raised because obviously I need to think of some way to deal with having it raised on one side and then fall off on the other side. I think what would be a good solution is to take this grade crossing and, uh, well, leave what's here, but to make another one around here as a, uh, as a grade leveler to uh, deal with any unevenness and it would be a nice visual interruption of the uh, of the rail line at, at this point here. Of course the track level will be a little bit raised in that the bottom of the dirt here is going to be the bottom of the ties so these blocks will be submerged in gravel a little bit though that probably won't be enough to keep them stable so most likely we'll need some kind of reinforcement but anyway you can see by the placement of this tie is that this is about where the line will be situated and we'll dead end there and a few feet back here have a switch that then lines up with that switch so imagine it coming in like that and continuing to a dead end there and a new station platform above where the block wall is there and uh, something of that nature so a lot more work to be done I still I need to actually get around to getting the rail delivered but it's a large steel order and I've just been busy with other things, so that's the state of it. As you can see, there's plenty of rocks for making further embankment walls down the line there. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, more to come.